so many moments that I felt close to God throughout the whole trip, but I feel like I especially felt close to Him during the training portion, especially that third day. Um, that third night after worship, we all go up into the barn and we do a prayer walk. And every single time, like I feel so close to God, just like spiritually. And this particular time, um, the whole day, I felt God telling me to go and be prayed for. But um, it's kind of like out of my comfort zone to like ask to be prayed for, especially by someone I don't know, like one of the leaders there. And I kept like pushing it away the whole day. And then finally, like when I got up to that barn, I remember just like standing there for like 10 minutes, just like contemplating whether to go or not. And then finally, um, I just felt like a push. And I just like went up and asked to be prayed for. And like the second I got there, before I even like said a word, I just remember, remember like breaking down. Um, and I just like felt so safe and so seen in that moment. Um, and just like almost like held by God. Like I just felt him tell me like, I see everything you're going through. Um, I hear you, um, but I have you. And I just like felt so held in his arms in that moment. And as she was praying for me, um, one of the leaders, I just felt so loved and so close to God. So I think that was probably the moment where I felt closest to God. Um, our hosts there were super amazing people, one of the kindest like groups of people I've ever met. And I would say like especially the cooks there really stood out to me a lot. Like they would wake up super early every morning just to cook for these people that they'd never met before and they would leave late after cooking dinner for us and they would clean and set up the table and wash all the dishes but I had never seen them once like drop like a smile from their face. They were always smiley, they were always greeting us, they were always laughing, and they just looked like they loved serving us and they loved being there. And I really like admired that about them and that's kind of like how I want to live my life. If like when I'm serving people, I just like want to have the same outlook that they had. Home visits were definitely super, super impactful. Um, being able to visit so many different, mainly women, um, who had either been left by their husbands or either orphaned or widowed, and just really um, hearing their stories and seeing where they live and how they're doing and being able to pray over them, I feel like that was just so impactful. So many of the trips were so emotional. Um, especially because there was a bit of a language barrier um, as they were speaking their indigenous language. And just like seeing the, like all the emotions, you can really see them like through their eyes. And I feel like no one's ever gonna forget how that looked. Um, it was really, really impactful, just like emotionally. It really encouraged us to kind of dig deep during our devotionals at night. We really touched upon that topic and we really dove deeper into it because everyone was like distraught or um, confused and had so many questions because nothing ever seemed fair. Um, but I really feel like those home visits will stick with me forever. Um, and just like meeting those people, they were such amazing souls. Um, and I think probably the thing that stuck out to me the most about them was even though um, they had so little, they were still willing to give us so much and they were so kind and nice and respectful to us. They were so welcoming into their homes. And I feel like that sense of like, like almost like belonging there, it really was just like a beautiful thing to experience because I know if I was them, I feel like I wouldn't have like the same attitude that they had. So it was just like such a nice thing to see and experience. I really was inspired by all of the people we met in Guatemala. I feel like their personalities and their aptitudes and how they had like their lookout on life. Um, I really, really um, admired that. So coming back, I kind of wanted to almost um, have the same thing that they had. And I just um, started becoming more of like a light to people 
that I talk to every day or interact with. So if I like ever see someone, like maybe they're not feeling well or they're not having the best day, just like giving them a compliment or like asking how their day went, if they need anything, if they're feeling better. Um, and you really see like the light like back up in their face and it's just such a beautiful thing to see. I like to think it's like God's love almost just like pouring out to them and you can really see how it changes their facial expression or like maybe you'll get like a little laugh or something. And yeah, just being able to like make people feel better. I feel like that's something that's changed. Prayer was such a big thing and I feel like coming back, I definitely feel like more comfortable with just like outright just like talking to God and not making it almost like, oh, I need to be like praying with like my eyes closed every single time. But just being able to um, find Him in any place, just in my head, just being able to talk to God, ask questions, um, pray about things in my head in the moment while I'm talking with other people. Um, and yeah, just like not having a specific time or place where I need to be praying, but knowing that God's everywhere and I can always reach out to Him like whenever I need because He's always going to be with me. Oh my gosh, like I'm so grateful for the people that have donated, that have come to car washes and contributed at bake sales. Like I don't think those people like realize how much they mean to us like without them none of this would have been possible and i just feel so grateful like every single time i think about it like i can't believe that i it wasn't me that was like paying for this it was like the congregation and everyone that supported us and it just like strikes me so hard emotionally like, because people are like so um driven for god that they want to give their money and themselves to other people so that they and like especially youth so that they can go and find God as well. Um, so I'm just like really grateful for them and yeah.